Google has launched a very interesting model, Gemma 2, 2 billion parameter model. This is a model that is probably going to go on a lot of edge devices or your smartphones. In this video, we're going to learn about this model and we also are going to see the couple of other announcements that Google did. And I've put together a very simple Google Collab just to quickly show you how to run this model. But I'll probably make a separate Google Collab just to make it more elaborative. And we are also going to see a couple of tests with the model to understand how the model is performing. Even though this is not a thorough test, it's just a very brief test. So what is this new model? This new model is called Gemma 2, 2 billion parameter model. The smallest version is uh, the 2 billion parameter, but the newest version, which is Gemma 2. So J Google had Gemma 1 before, but this is a Gemma 2 model. So now if you see the Gemma 2 model, Google is actually flexing with the chatbot Arena ELO score. If you're not familiar with chatbot, this is a place where two models would fight each other, where the user would vote a particular model's response. And then by that, they calculate the ELO score. While I'm extremely happy to see this very good ELO score from a 2 billion parameter model that is beating Mixtral 7 billion parameter models, uh, 8x7 billion parameter model MOE. In fact, it is beating GPT 3.5 Turbo. I'm extremely becoming skeptical at this point to understand how these ELO scores are performing with respect to these two models. I'm happy that a 2 billion model is very capable. But I'm also skeptical that if a 2 billion parameter model can beat GPT 3.5 Turbo. I mean, I'm torn between these two things. Uh, there is a happy thing, but there is also the skepticism side of me that is questioning if there is any sort of benchmark hacking happening. Especially this is uh, my thought uh, since the day Chatbot Arena open sourced or uh, did a Kaggle competition with their data set, which helps people to identify what kind of answers people prefer. The data set is available on Kaggle, anybody can use it. So I'm not sure if that has any influence on these kind of new benchmarks. If you keep the skeptic side of me aside, this is a pretty good model from the ELO score in itself. There are other benchmarks that Google is highlighting, but this model in itself seems to be a good model. Uh, one of the most important things, like I said, is that this model is going to make it extremely easy, extremely easy to run large language models on a lot of different devices. And as you can see here, Google is just flexing that. They have integration with Keras, JAX, which is another uh, deep learning framework, or um, numerical computing framework, Hugging Face, NVIDIA Nemo, Olama, Gemma CPP. And soon uh, they're going to integrate it with a lot more systems. The main idea here is that uh, this model is going to be on edge devices. And uh, this model might end up becoming um, available on the newest Pixel Pro device. And people have already started running this model on Apple uh, devices, uh, thanks to MLX. Now, this model is not the only announcement that Google made. Uh, before I show you the code, I would like to quickly, briefly say the other two important announcements Google made. One is called a Shield Gemma, which is uh, a safety classifier. See, whenever the, you have to deploy these models um, in public, in the real life IRL, for people to use it, one of the things that you want to make sure is that these models do not respond back with any of these things. Like imagine you are McDonald's and uh, the model is giving you a response back as a hate speech or harassment or dangerous content. It is going to affect your branding PR and all the other things. Unless until you are Elon Musk, you're not going to care about it. So people usually build their own text classifiers, which is like a machine learning algorithm that can say whether a response is hate speech or not hate speech. Now, Google is releasing its own model, Shield Gemma, which is very similar like what Meta did with Llama God. So here we have got Shield Gemma, which is a classifier that can actually take the user input. The Shield Gemma can see the, uh, see the response. Now you have got the AI model that can uh, generate the response and then finally give the product output. So if you like want to have your own uh, mo model classifier, you can start using Shield Gemma and build on top of it. The final announcement is the most important announcement for me. I'll make a separate video about it. Google has launched a kick ass tool, like an, an incredible tool, which helps you understand what goes inside these large language models. In short, they've released a sparse auto encoder. So sparse auto encoder is uh, something that lets you see zoom in uh, specific points of the model to understand what is happening. I'd like to give you a very brief demo here. So this is an interactive tool 
an organization called Neuronpedia has put together. This is using the models that Google has released for language model interpretability. So you can, for example, take a question here and that question, you can see what kind of features of the neural networks are activated for a particular part. For example, here you can see if you see this function uh, and you can see here like, OK, what is this is a code related theme and this is a reference to arrays. Let's even go to something called literary. So if you go here, so you have got criminal activity references. You've got themes related to human emotions and relationships and reference to letter J. So these are certain things what the model understands from the given prompt and also when it has to generate a sentence. So this is uh, this is uh, this tool has a lot more things I've just like very briefly touched upon and I would love to make a separate video about it. I, I think for me of all the announcements that Google made this this is not just a tool. Google has actually released the models for you to go play with if you were to use the model. So if you go to Google model hub on hugging faces model hub. So you would start seeing Gemma scope model so you can play with the model yourself, which is pretty cool. Like they have given the Google Collab notebook for us to play with. So I'm definitely making a separate video about it. But for now, this video is just mainly about Google Gemma to 2 billion model. So uh, Gemma is nice. If we were to use Gemma, how do we do it? I've put together a very brief Google Collab notebook. Very simple. Nothing fancy. Go to runtime, change runtime and make sure you've got uh, the GPU model which in this case, if you use this notebook, it will be already install the latest hugging face transformers. And then we are going to use the pipeline. So hugging face has got like two different methods to run any model. One is a pipeline model, which is highly abstracted. So I'm going to import pipeline from transformer. What is the task that we are trying to do text generation? What is the model that we are using? We are using the same model from unsloth because, you know, Google, of course, uh, has got this thing where uh, you have to get the approval. So I don't want you all to take the approval, put the access code, deal with the hugging face tokens. I wanted to make it easier. Thanks to our buddy uh, from Unsloth who has actually uploaded the model. So we are using the model, the same model from Unsloth. And what is a model quarks? Like what, what type of data structure that you want to send or any other model parameters? And where are you running the model? I'm running it on GPU, so device is CUDA. This is the pipeline that you have to create. Once you have the pipeline ready, then you, ha you can send the message. So the message in this case is what are the chances of Elon Musk becoming the US president in 2024? Pipe the message, send the message, or no, number of tokens that you want as an output. And uh, you generate the output and response, print the response back. I'm going to send it, uh, send it so that in real time you can see on a T4 GPU, how much time does it take in real time? So this is a 2 billion parameter model, nothing quantized. So in fact, as you can see here, we are running it in B, B floating 16. So it's almost as same as like the model that has been built, the same quality. We haven't made a lot of trade-offs here. And of course, because this is a 2 billion parameter model, if you run it using Llama, CPP or Ollama, it's going to be extremely fast. But even here, it, it just took 18 seconds for us to generate all these texts. And this is amazing. So what does it say? It says it is impossible to give a definite percentage for uh, the chance of Elon Musk becoming US president in 2024. Why? No official candidacy, highly unlikely. Why? Ma While Musk is a highly influential figure, he lacks the traditional political experience and network run. Okay. Political landscape, public opinion on Musk's suitability for presidency is uncertain and uh, some might seem as a disruptive, disruptive force for change. Just wanted to ask a different question, a weird question. I'll link this Google Collab notebook in the YouTube description for you to play with. This is one way of accessing the model. The other way of accessing the model is one, you can go to the model hub, download the model yourself, get the approval and do all those things. The next easier option is Hugging Face team has put together Google uh, Hugging Spaces. So where you can go ask question and then it can help you. For example, write a plot of Cinderella by Christopher Nolan. I should have said in the style of Christopher Nolan, but that's fine. Anyways, we're just trying it. So here, this is a simple Gradio application. You can just go ask the question and this will create the answer back for you. So it is creating a Cinderella dark tale. I mean, Christopher Nolan, is he such a dark director? I don't think so. In this dystopian future where the technology future, where the technology controls Every aspect of life, a young woman named Ella is forced into, oh, cool. The story looks nice. 
this is another place where you can use the third place where you can go use uh, for free is you can go to Google AI studio and inside the AI studio, you can select the model Gemma 2, 2 billion parameter model. And then you can just go ask any question that you want. And you can say, who are you? I mean, this is honestly the question that I hate asking these large language models, but you can just ask this question. Who Google AI studio is there. I'm Gemma. An AI assistant by created by Gemma team. I'm an open weights large language model, which means I'm publicly available. I can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content and answer your questions. Can you translate? This guy is not sleeping in Tamil. Let's see if it can translate. So I've just said like this guy is not sleeping in Tamil. Okay, it gave me Tamil text. It said in the manidam tunga villai. Okay. Um, Actually, you have to say in the money then in the okay. I mean, manidam is not a word, I guess. So it's referring to a man. Tunga Villa is correct. This man is not sleeping close by uh, for a 2 billion parameter model. I should be extremely happy instead of creeping about it. And I cannot wait to see this model coming into all the devices that we can use. And probably this is a weekend project for me to use this model on uh, Raspberry Pi. Either way, this is an interesting model, except that I want to actually test this model thoroughly to see where this model stands uh, because we might do a couple of comparison. The chatbot score actually bothers me a little bit. Let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it, but otherwise a great release, a bunch of releases, including the Gemma scope from uh, Google DeepMind and uh, see you in another video. Happy prompting.